Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we are going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of the Spirit Halloween 2021 Mr. Dark. Alright, let's get straight into the unboxing. So, I did see this guy at the flagship store, and he is super, super cool. So, let's knock this box right over. So we want to take this down and bring the extra box inside out because he's got this extra box and he's got some ties and stuff that we want to take out here. So we'll just move him here and he's got his bag over his head and then a ton of warning signs which I'll show in a bit. You know I'm kind of moving the light over there but um, one thing I do want to mention if you haven't already noticed not my normal studio. Uh, we are still at the hotel for flagship. So we just got back from flagship and that's when I'm filming this. So I can't do this at the normal studio. So taking this out, there it is. So I'm just gonna put this aside and we're gonna bring the box and move it over here. So we don't need the box now. Although quickly, I do wanna show it, it looks pretty cool. It is a techie prop, here it is show the sides here new sides of boxes this year which is pretty cool here's the other side looks awesome super excited about this one there it is looked awesome in store and i wasn't actually planning on getting it i was planning on getting wacky mole until i saw this thing in person and it's incredible it's very very cool so now we have it out it's kind of fallen out already but here he is himself let's take the bag over his head off he looks amazing he looks really cool. The head is huge. He's really, really big. A lot bigger than I expected when I saw him in store. But here he is. He looks awesome. This is the head. It's got actual teeth out here, not just molded in the skull. So really nice detail. Got really cool hands. Got a wire around his hand here. Really cool. Awesome look. Put this aside here. Next up, we've got the mech. There doesn't seem to be too many pieces in here. Got some wires kind of falling out here too. We want to be careful with that. Got a lot of extra cloth. This guy is almost nine feet tall. Got some sandbags. They don't include sand, but you can just put some in here. Uh, there they are. I think most techie lunging props come with at least one. Now, the mech. The mech is insane. I know not many people have seen this yet. This thing is crazy. So techie, we're all probably expecting plastic. This thing does rise up to almost nine feet as I said so it's gonna need a bit more than plastic here it is very professional looking mech not what I'd expect uh, from techie but here it is I'm gonna just kind of show it I know you guys can't see the top but that's how it works it's kind of a scissor mech but angled so uh, usually for a professional prop there'd be a pneumatic cylinder on the back but because spirit doesn't do pneumatics uh, it's just two springs right here and then almost a cylinder but uh, made out of springs right here to push this extra bit. But it's just going to pull like that and bring the top up. So really cool mech. Very professional. Uh, definitely above what I thought it would be. So we'll put that to the side here as well. Really cool. And as you could probably tell, a lot of warning signs. Very dangerous prop with those big springs. So you want to be careful with ones like this. So let's take one of the sections for the base out. Here's one of it, just metal base. Pretty nice uh, big base, but you still want weights on it because of how fast and high it lunges. Here are the instructions. We'll see those in a bit. Uh, here's a little cap, which we'll see what to do with in a little while. And then we've got the rest of the base, which has the other part I was talking about here. So we'll lie this on here. So this is kind of, uh, it's actually out right now, so it would be shorter if it was collapsed in. But this is kind of like a cylinder, but spring-loaded. So there's the spring in the bottom, and then there's metal gears, which is great, that pull it down. So right here, this part comes in, and it helps push it up. So pretty cool, and that is attached to the base, which is nice. And we'll also just put this to the side here. But that's the unboxing. That's all the parts there uh, for Mr. Dark. So yeah, let's get into the setup. Here we go. Okay, so let's begin the setup. We've got two instructions here. One is just the traditional techie step pad stuff. Won't need that because we don't have any step pads here. 
but the one we will need is right here. This is Mr. Dark. Let's show this up close. Full color, really nice, looks great. Got actual pictures here and then some of the cartoon style that Techie normally does. But there it is, that's kind of the box photo. Got some Techie type designs here. I love the cartoon style, it looks really cool and it's easy to read and see. So let's put this to the side. Start in with just the base. Um, this is a very just old type of base setup. I like that they split it in two. I wish they did that with more props because even seeing how big he is, they were able to do that. So that's a good thing. I hope they do that with more in the future because it's not easy to transport big boxes. Um, but yeah, there it is. That looks good. That's the full base. Now I do want to show this just up if you guys can't see the full thing. It's pretty big. It's a very big base and that's good because he has a very big motion. So right here, this is the cylinder part I was talking about, and we're just gonna lay that down right there. This part is what connects to that cylinder. So this is the main mech right here that I showed earlier. And this part just snap locks into here, which is a massive metal pole. By far the biggest uh, metal part that I've seen in any of my props. This is huge, very professional type stuff right here. But now we got the mech working right here. Uh, and these springs will go down a bit later. First, we wanna attach that cylinder. So that's what we wanna do right here. We're just gonna bring that over. And that attaches, fell down a bit. That attaches to G right here. We've got warning sign, kinda making this harder right here. But we've also got this little pin and that clicks in place. So now that doesn't come out, but that also does work for shooting it up. So right now it's fully extended. It's way up there at um, its max height, so it's big. Not about nine feet yet, because we don't have this part on yet, but really big, really cool. So the next part we wanna do is attach that part, which we're not gonna do in here because it's technically impossible since the ceilings aren't high enough, but I will show how that is done. So with this part right here, um, we're gonna unattach it and show how that's done first. So bringing that down like this, basically right here, this plastic piece, we're just gonna show this, not really do this. Right here on the head, there is a matching one, which will just slide into there and then you fix the clothing on it. So just wanted to show you how that works and it just snaps right on there. So we can't really do that because of height, but we will show that later in the video. So let's continue the setup here, just without the clothing on. Usually you'd have the clothing on right now. Put this back in, push the pin, and lock it in place. So there it is. Uh, we've also got this elastic band helping with the clothing and stuff, but we want to move this over just a bit. So next are the springs. Now these springs go all the way down and lock into these hooks down here. Got a ton of warning signs, and you're going to want to make sure not to plug in anything before, just in case, because it is a very powerful prop. But you're going to take the springs down here, Put it on the hook, there's one. Take the other spring, pull it down, put it on the hook. There's the other. So they are pulled in right now, so they are gonna be stretched a lot more when it brings it down. So that's basically it. Right now you'd also have this on, and then we also have, looks like only two wires to connect. Got one right here going to the mech, and one right down here, if you can see that, to the control box. But that is it for the setup. All you do is snap that on, and then you're done. So we've got the adapter right here, but because we can't do it in here, we have to go to a bigger space. So here we go. Let's do the demo. All right, he is fully set up and here he is. He looks so creepy. His setup was pretty hard to do, but it is very professional and very cool looking. But here he is, he's set down on the ground so his springs are ready. Uh, let's plug him in. Got some cool lighting here. Here we go. All right, plug him in here. And he is on sensor mode.
All right, we'll do one more farther back so we can actually see it better. so that was the spirit halloween 2021 mr dark this guy is so cool i think it actually might be my favorite or very close to my favorite spirit prop now this guy is insane he jumps from about four to almost nine feet tall so i don't know if you can really tell how big it is here but he is huge right now. He's about four feet and then he gets real, real high up. So super cool, really impressed with the mech. I thought it would be plastic since it is techie, uh, but it is metal and it's pretty good quality. It seems really cool and I can't wait to use it on Halloween. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.